Hello, my name is Ricky and you're watching 1-2 Tax. In this lesson, we are considering capital gains tax. And in this video, we are looking at the phrase of a capital nature and what that means. Now, why do we want to know what is of a capital nature? Well, it's actually one of the most important questions in tax law. The gross income definition, as you might remember, includes the phrase of a capital nature because it specifically excludes income that is of a capital nature from your gross income. The general deductions formula also excludes expenditure that is of a capital nature. This means that income that, of, that is of a capital nature is not included in your gross income, but rather is taxed as capital gains tax, while expenditure that is of a capital nature is not included or may not be deducted from your gross income. So it is actually, as I've mentioned, one of the most important concepts in tax and one of the biggest debates in tax as well. There are literally hundreds of court cases on this issue. So in economics, the, the generally accepted meaning of capital is money or assets that have some economic use, so that are able to generate more money or assets. And our courts have defined capital as forming part of the income producing structure of the business. So it is what a business uses to generate income. And often the analogy of a tree and fruits are used, whereby the tree is the capital and the fruits is the income. But in different circumstances, different assets could be capital, while in other circumstances, the same asset could be income. Now we'll demonstrate this by use of an example. So if we look at Steph, Stephanie has an apple shop. So she has a couple of apple trees on a property. She grows apples, picks them, and she sells those apples making money. Um, so in this case, the income is the money that she receives from selling the apples, while her capital is the apple trees and perhaps the property on which the apple trees are planted. But now, let's say that Stephanie owns a nursery. So now Steph doesn't sell apples, but she sells apple trees and other trees. In this case, the apple trees are no longer capital, but now money that she earns from selling the apple trees are actually income. So this demonstrates how in different situations, the same asset could be either capital or income, depending on the situation. So that's a brief explanation of the concept of capital. In the next video, we are going to look at capital gains, what it is, and then how to calculate it.